Welcome to I Love Stocks. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. We sure would appreciate that. Today I'm going to do a review on a review I did on the 8th. And that's going to just be on Tesla, Tesla alone. I was counting on it to break a thousand and that's what we did. So we're going to take her straight to the website. And everybody knows that I've been very bullish. It's one of my bullish bearish trades of the year. But actually, it's been probably the strongest bullish trade of the year, even during the corona crisis. And we've had a lot of doubters out there. But I've got to tell you, only people with money are going to buy these cars. Money's not a problem. You always got to remember that. It doesn't matter about oil or anything. And there's a lot, I mean, this electric car business is really going to start taking off in the next 10 years. And Tesla is years ahead of the game. So they're going to be always up on top. So let's go ahead and go straight to the news today and the catalyst that could have brought this up a little bit today. See if we can find anything in here. I always like looking at the news because that pre-market and even during the day, I'm always watching the news looking for something. And here, Tesla shares surpass $1,000 on semi-truck production memo. Now, there's a new company that came out here and merged with another company called NKLA. And I also talked about that on the video a couple of days ago. And I'm bullish on it too, but I'm bearish on it too. we got to wait for it to consolidate. And that stock is going to be NKLA. But for right now, this is what was the catalyst that pushed this above a thousand bucks now I do believe that we're gonna start building a new channel and it's not gonna go no lower than nine hundred dollars and I wouldn't be surprised if not by the end of the week or into next week we'll hit eleven hundred easy and that's gonna be Tesla so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the chart I already drew a resistance line that I kinda of counted on last week on my video that I did a couple days ago for a double top resistance break and that was at 968.40 well we surpassed that big today and that was off the memo start getting these big trucks down the highway so I'm gonna draw a couple trend lines in here where I think that that's gonna be good and I'd start off with the yearly I always start off with the yearly and look for supports and I'll draw them trend lines on the bases of the candles there's 950.40. I'm going to call that our low support area. See how this doji came in? Then right after that doji, look what happened. That's, that's, a, that's a sign that maybe the next day you're going to have a breakout. That's called a doji. You know, and we're going to draw a couple resistance lines on this for right now. And I'm just going to stop one right there. Then we've got a low, low support right down here at 920. And that's what I called in the room on the video, that 920 area. And we came real close to hitting that. That was yesterday. That was uh, yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and pull up the, t the 20 day now and see if I can find anything else in here that might give me an an inkling that maybe we can pull back a little lower and you see this little consolidated area right here 50 percent retracement also on the 20-day chart it's a double confirmation for a solid support if the stock does dip on down there now I personally want to see this channel start from 900 up to about 1100 and then kind of fine-tune itself down the line in about the next 10 to 20 days but this is a catalyst for this stock to bounce up tomorrow, maybe to 1100 and then start to pull back and consolidate. I'm not saying we're going to 1100 I'm happy and very satisfied that we accomplished that 1000 this week. So I'm going to draw one more trend line right in here at 108.44. Now I'm going to bring this to the daily three minute. And we're going to look at this. And we're going to draw one more trend line right in here. The 117.83 area could go up just a little bit higher, but I'm including all these other candles here. That's just like a fake breakout, and you see it pulled back to that support level and bounce. 
and I called this out in the room today. This 108.44 after the breakout, I said, be patient, let it come back to you. And that's exactly what happened. Then we had the breakout into close. And now we're starting to curl up to the double top of 1027.48. So this is how we're going to kind of look at this trade. And I'm going to draw a little channel right in here at the 998 level. I see it's some consolidated area right here pre-market. That's before we had that big bounce. See that big bounce? You knew just by looking at this. Now keep this in mind. Something was going down right here for that stock to run up like that. And then for it to start consolidating and have that breakout, you should have realized, or maybe we should have realized, that this thing was going to run up all day long. And we did hit our targets of 1,000, and once that happened, man, it was just amazing. When it broke that 1,000, we knew we were going to go up higher. So let's see if we can get to 1,100 on this one here. Also, I'm thinking that low support level is going to be right here at 99062. That's where I like to see it hold, and I'm going to shade that in for a solid support channel. And it keeps me in mind of a strong buy, just in case we get down here. Or it could, on a daily one minute, and I'm going to show you another way that I can play the, the dip. And it's usually off this 200 EMA. And we'll see how that thing looks tomorrow. But we're going to have a low support right down here at 990.62. And that third support is going to be right here at 998 to 1,000. The second one is going to be right here at 1,844. And we got 1,1783 for the first support. And then the resistance to break is going to be right here at, the, at this 10.25.25 or even past this daily high that we had right here. But you got to just imagine that the bears are out there, are suffering right now, and, and they're still going to try to bring this down. They're convinced. I don't know. You know, I can't explain it any better than that. The Tesla is probably the number one car maker of all. It puts away everyone that I've ever seen. I mean, the, and then Elon Musk saying he wants to take us to Mars and to the moon. That excites me about that, too. And, and I said in the video last, on the 8th, that Elon is my favorite CEO of all time in my lifetime. My favorite one. I put him on top. And then I've got a little bit more time, so let's look at another one. And let's, I'm going to just go ahead. Let's look at that other, that uh, NKLA, its competitor. Now, Elon's kind of shaking a little bit. It's going to take a couple years for this one to run, but this is going to be a sympathy play to Tesla. And always remember that. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if CentOS or whatever that company is probably downgrades this stock right here. And they probably already have. You know, let's see. It should pop up in the news if they have or not. I think they, some, if I remember right, yeah, Centron's already come out here and bashed it. So, we did hit the double. I did call this support level when they came out at 65.06. So, let's take a good look at this chart here. We're going to pull up the monthly. Let's just pull up the uh, year. That ain't going to tell us much. Let's pull up the five day five minute okay so we've got a low support right here at 6506 and that's where we closed at today now if, if you watched the video a couple days ago I called this pullback and we were right here at, at the highs right up in here and it, it kind of right around here and I called the pullback right here at 6506 and you could have got in there and scalped that for a good pretty good chunk for good 20 some bucks now we're starting to show a little descending pattern. So we're going to see if we can find us another little support channel. I think we can probably break below that. And I'm thinking that 6165 area. And we'll put that in here, right? 6150. I'll probably never get there we go. I'm going to get that back in there. So that's going to be our first support. And then 
maybe down here is going to be our second support right here at 53.82 and then if it ever reaches down at 44.04 I'd probably put a strong buy in there so I'm going to set me an alert right there make sure that I got that set just in case and that's going to be a strong buy at 44.02 44.04 and I should probably raise this up I'm going to raise it up just a little bit put it right there Raise it up a little bit higher so I can be pre prepared for the strong buy that I'm going to get into this trade. So we've got three different supports with a strong buy down here at 46.98. That third support at 54.05, 59.06, and 61.05. Now, if you're not familiar with NKLA, I'm going to pull it up on the website here. See if they had any news today too. The IPO outlook and the companies and blah, 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 breaking down along automotive industry. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so this is like going to be a big truck. This is this is one we're going to have to keep on watch for sure. I really like this company. They're going to be competing with Tesla. They they've got all kinds. They got the power sports. They've got energy companies I mean you know it's it's gonna be one to really watch they've also I've seen I think they had some kind of ski do or something that you can there it is right there power sports ski do's so yeah keep this one a very good watch I'm definitely interested in it and it was a great run the other day and I think we need to consolidate and try to find some kind of support level or a pullback and remember, that low support down here, right at 44.04, I have an alert set at 47. We've got a strong buy down here at third, third support at 54.05. We've got 59.16 and 61.05. And then we've got this pivot point area in the channel at 65.06. And your resistance lines are going to come up here. But for right now, we're descending. Let's wait until next week and see what this stock's going to do. And that's going to be NKLA. And that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to bring them two to your attention. And always remember, we love stocks. And have a great day.